Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to our weekly tune-up this week. We're going to change it up a little bit today. Over the past few days, I've had the experience of talking to several people that are in crisis. And it seems like all of us at one time or another are in a crisis. It just happens. It's about being a human. It's about learning. It's about experiencing. Psychology Today just published an article that I read that I thought was fascinating. They surveyed thousands of people over the last few years and discovered the greatest regret people have. You will not believe what it is. It's so fixable and doable, and we're going to talk about that right now. At the end of people's lives, people say the greatest regret they have, and this is almost everyone, is that they did not live an authentic life. And what that means is they lived a life that was based upon what other people think of them. They were living a life based upon what they thought other people expected them to be like. They'd dress that way. They would buy cars that way. They would live in the neighborhood that way. They would go on vacations with that expectation of looking like the Joneses or fitting in. I've always said, and I'm a little bit different than everyone else, and as you all know, I kind of put myself out there and ask for it sometimes. But here's the thing. Arthur Ashe once said in a talk that I watched, he used to be a pretty famous tennis player. He said, you can live your life and become a clone and a copy, or you can be an original. He says, which one are you right now? And he was talking about authenticity. If you're living your life to be a copy of everyone else so you fit in, you're probably missing the huge potential of what you could become, what your purpose in life is, and who you really are. I've even suffered this myself early on in my life. I was living that way. I was under the expectations of other people. I was wanting to fit in. I was terrified of rejection and not being loved and all those kinds of things. It's an interesting thing though you're really not capable of being loved or even recognizing it until you first love yourself. Now that's easier said than done. A great exercise so you can feel how weird it really is, is is to feel the weirdness of looking into the mirror and telling yourself that you love yourself. You're gonna feel it's kinda creepy and until you can do that and numb that feeling out you're not there yet. Most people aren't. Today, I want you to really ask yourself, are you living an authentic life or are you worried about what everybody else thinks? At the end of your life on this plane as we know it right now, are you going to be one of those people that have regretted the way you did things, wish you would have changed it up a little bit? You know, I'm also kind of embarrassed and sorry to say it's taken 50% of my life, if not a little bit more, for me to discover that. However, I feel pretty good about the way I'm living my life now. I am authentic. What you see is what you get, and some of you like it, and some of you don't. And to me, it really doesn't matter. You see, we have to get to a place that we really don't care what other people think of us because it's kind of none of our business anyway. We have no control over it. You could walk right down the straight line and do everything perfect in your life, but one person out there being an armchair quarterback thinking they could live your life better will judge you. And we talked about that last week. If you're afraid of judgment, you've got some work to do on yourself. If you're living an unauthentic life where you're not really living who you really are, you've got some work to do. It's not hard work. It's just, first of all, getting real about it. Today, as you walk into the earth and walk around out there on top of this planet and you're into what's going on and paying attention to your shopping and your grocery shopping and what you're telling your kids and the politics and the asking yourself, does my SUV fit in with everyone else's or is it a little posh or a little less than that? Ask yourself, am I dressing the way I really want to dress or am I dressing to be accepted? Ask yourself, when my children grow up and remember me, what is going to be the thing they remember most? That I had a great haircut and always looked pretty or handsome and wear nice clothes or that I inspired and motivated them to be good people? 
You know, one of the things we are on this planet for is to inspire and motivate other people. You've heard me say that before, and the best way to do that is to be you. And I learned that the hard way, and I'm sure some of you have too. And I'm not there yet. I'm not saying I have the West Coast distributorship on being cool and being all authentic myself. When I'm doing these videos, I'm always concerned, is this going to be okay? Will people like this? How do I look? <laughs> so we have to realize it really doesn't matter. What's important is the message. So today, your message to the people you see, ask yourself, am I being authentic? I can guarantee you, if you will be authentic and do the very best you can do being you, things are going to work out. It's when you skew it and are concerned about everyone else, you're going to miss the potential that allows you to become who you really are. And you were put on this earth to be you, to be unique. And the more unique you are, the more distinctions you have that separates you from everyone else and makes you stand out a little bit. And that's the magic. Then you'll be seen. Your potential will be appreciated and you'll grow. So let's work on being a little more authentic this week and living an authentic life rather than inauthentic life. And ask yourself, what can I do today to shed this despair of wanting to be like everyone else so I don't stand out? And then ask yourself, what can I do to stand out and make a difference in this world? Believe me, right now, we can use all of you that there are out there that can actually have the courage to step forward and be authentic. Until next week, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary week. And remember, you become what you think about the most, especially if you have passion behind it. Until next time, bye-bye.